In this quick Q feature video, we're going to look at record by channel. This is a new feature introduced in version 10 onwards. So let's take a look here. If I take my wash lights here and I switch them on, you can see nothing's come on at the moment. I'll come back to why in a moment. If I go to color and set a color, on come my, my wash lights. If I now go to position and I tilt them forward, uh, like so, and then I'm going to fan them out a little bit here. What I can now do in version 10 when I record is I can now record by attribute or by channel. So I can now say take intensity only, just a dimmer and store it to 11 here. And I've only recorded the dimmer attribute now. I haven't recorded position, color or beam, even though they're in my programmer. I can go more granular and I could say actually uh, record color and just take the red channel and store it there. I could then say uh, again record uh, color and just take green channel and store it again etc now when you're doing that bear in mind that it's recording the value that channel is at at the moment so if i was to take green only what that would be doing if i cancel and i go to color is it would be storing the green value at zero as you can see here because it's at zero uh, we've heard the ask from users where you want to be able to do your color mixing on three different faders this is now possible of course in this version uh, and i've set this up already uh, one thing you do need to bear in mind is default values. So let's have a look at how I built this. So um, if I grab my wash lights and switch them on, I have now got uh, red, green, and blue on three faders backwards. So red, green, and blue the other way around. Uh, and I can, of course, now color mix using my three faders, as you can see here. In terms of building this up, the way I built that uh, was to select my wash lights, switch them on, and I set the color to white because that puts all of my red, green, and blue emitters at full. There you go. And then I did a record color. And then I chose just say red, for example, or green or blue. Uh, so let's build another one now. So I'm going to say, okay, red there, uh, record uh, color green there on 14. And let's just remove the thing on 15 at the moment to give me some space. So remove that there. And now I'm going to go uh, record color uh, blue there so I've got three faders 14 13 14 15 red green and blue uh, now the important thing is default values on quick you uh, channels like color will always go back to their default value which is normally at full for RGB fixtures uh, when you clear the program or not they're not running in a queue of course if you want to be mixing your three colors on faders you need the default value to be at zero for the colors so what I've done is I set the color red, green, and blue to zero, and I record that into palette one at the top here, which says it's your default palette, your white palette here, uh, which now essentially has made that uh, dark, uh, so it's no longer white in that, it's actually off, colors out. So bear that in mind now, but when I grab these and turn them on, because I've set the default value for RGB to zero, I'm not seeing any output, it's relying on me now bringing up my red, green, and blue cues there. Of course, each one of those cues, you need to just record just a red attribute, just the green, and just a blue respectively into those cues. The other thing that uh, recording my channel allows me now to do is if I take my spot fixtures, switch them on, uh, and I was to do something like put a gobo in uh, on them, etc. and I did some other things with Beam. So at the moment, as soon as I select any Beam attribute, everything about Beam is in my programmer, but maybe I want a separate strobe fader, so I can set those strobing. Now I can do a record Beam, and I can choose the strobe attribute only. You can choose multiple attributes if you want. I can choose strobe only, put it in 17, hit clear, and now I've got myself a queue where I can bring in as needed that strobe value, uh, whichever one I recorded it on here, uh, and run the strobe just only on those so I can filter out the beam attributes into my queues. So that's record by channel available in QuickView version 10.